Hi, my name's uh, Nick Hayes from Digital Yacht. Um, this is a update on how you can integrate modern consumer type devices like iPads and tablets into a boat's navigation system. It's designed primarily for our dealers and distributors, but if you're an end user watching this, we hope you find it interesting and um, think about how you could integrate your iPad or tablet onto a boat. So let's have a look at some of the facts and figures. To date, at the beginning of 2014, there's around 600 million iOS operating systems. That's Apple's mobile operating system utilized by iPads and iPhones. And believe it or not, uh, around 200 million uh, iPads have been sold to date. Even in the last quarter, iPhone sales were 51 million units just in Q3 2013. So it's a phenomenal amount of Apple mobile product in the field. Possibly even more exciting is there's around a billion Android operating systems and around 1.5 million uh, Android activations every day. It's a phenomenal number of Android products also in the consumer world. So let's have a look at the opportunity for uh, the marine sector in a, in a nutshell. Well, iPad and tablet ownership is probably close to 100% of boat owners. I think it's fair to say that if you're a boat owner, almost certainly you have an iPad, an iPhone or a tablet and you could utilize those devices for navigation. It's also fair to say that consumers love the attachment to the iPad with its uh, unique operating system, pinch to zoom, really easy to use, um, just, just a joy basically to, to look at data and so on. I'm going to refer to iPads in this presentation but of course I could refer to tablets as well, so just take it that an iPad, I mean a, a mobile type device, uh, just to make the language easy. It's also worth having a look at the fact that the best selling marine chart plotter only sold around 35,000 units over a five to six year period. Uh, but yet app developers like Navionics are already seeing 10 times those volumes in a much shorter time period. So basically what's happened now is that there's been a virtual collapse in the sale of marine handheld GPS units because there's not a lot of point in buying something like that when your phone or tablet has got all that capability built in. And it's also clear to see that the modern uh, multifunction displays, the bigger multifunction displays, are now incorporating wireless uh, interfaces uh, and most of the manufacturers like Raymarine, Simrad, Lowrance and Garmin have all got an app available in the uh, Apple Store to support their products. What Digital Yacht offer is an opportunity to add wireless to any system. That means a legacy system as well as a current generation system and we firmly believe in an open platform uh, utilizing industry standard data so that you can choose the type of app you want to run and integrate your consumer device into your boat's navigation system. First off is our WLN10. It's an NMEA 0183 to wireless server so it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot on board your boat uh, with a footprint of around 30 meters or 100 foot uh, and it's a simple two wire NMEA 0183 interface. So you connect to your existing system be it Garmin, Raymarine, Simrad, Standard, Furuno, Lowrance, all those different makes have got an NMEA interface and it will stream uh, wirelessly that NMEA data directly to your iPad. That data could be GPS data, depth, speed, wind, bearing distance to waypoint, all those different nav features that are available on NMEA sent directly to your iPad. Now we do two variants. We do a 4800 bowed version for traditional slow speed NMEA and we also do a 38400 bowed version for the higher speed AIS based systems. They can actually be programmed in the field if required um, but we typically ship them out as either a WLN10 or a WLN10HS to make installation easy. And we like to think that it's a fit and forget solution costing just over $300 that will bring wireless navigation to your boat. Having a look at integrating a WLN10 into an existing system, again very straightforward. Here we see one of the popular uh, Raymarine Classic C-Series systems with a C120. Uh, you can connect to the back of the multifunction display via the NMEA output and stream data so you'll also get all the CTALK data coming across from the instruments that we see here because the C120 converts all that into NMEA 0183. Alternatively you could tap into the um, E85001 or RS232 interface box. Those red spots show where you can do that. For more sophisticated type systems like AIS uh, you can feed the instruments into our Class B transponder. The tra Class B acts as a multiplexer and will then send the data out 
uh, via NMEA to the WLN10HS so that data streamed across to the iPad. It's also worth pointing out that our um, AIT2000 also has a slow speed NMEA output to drive a DSC VHF radio too. Now for boats that uh, don't have one of our transponders but have multiple sources of NMEA data we have a product called the Mux 100 which is a two-channel NMEA multiplexer. Very nice and straightforward it takes two channels of NMEA data so here we've got 4800 bow traditional instrument and GPS data here we've got 38400 bow high-speed AIS data it combines the two and sends it either to a chart plotter or to the optional WLN 10HS and then streams the data across to an iPad. It's also worth pointing out that there's a separate uh, 4800 bow GPS only output for a DSC VHF. So the Mark 100 for just $160 gives a, a, a large degree of configuration uh, for any NMEA based system. Now Navlink is our NMEA 2000 to wireless server product so it utilizes NMEA 2000 data and sends that wirelessly uh, across to an iPad. Um, as you can see here we've got a traditional NMEA 2000 backbone with T pieces tapping off to each of the NMEA 2000 products, the terminator at each end of the system and all you do with Navlink is just T into the backbone and it takes the data streams across to the iPad. Similar range of around 30 meters, 100 feet, so a footprint of boat up to 100 foot. Uh, and there's also the Navlink Plus with a USB output. So you not only have the wireless link, but you have a USB connection for a PC. Might be a useful thing. It's worth pointing out that uh, Navlink actually transfers just uh, navigation and AIS data, not other NMEA proprietary sentences like tank levels and engine data and so on. So it's just designed to transfer navigation and AIS data. Here we can see how you'd integrate Navlink into the system, just a simple T-in into the backbone uh, and then the data from the instrument system and from the chart plotter system get streamed across wirelessly via Navlink. Now iNav Hub is our flagship wireless hub product. Not only does it stream NMEA 0183 data, but it also has a WAN or wide area network connection on the unit. This is a simple RJ45 uh, connection, you can see it here. Uh, and you'd normally use that to connect to one of our high-power Wi-Fi solutions. So these are uh, high-power wireless internet access solutions uh, like our WL510. And here we'd see it simply plugs into the iNav hub, which means the iNav hub on its wireless network has not only NMEA data for navigation, but also internet data. So you can share the same wireless network for both chunks of data. To put it simply, uh, the kids could be watching Netflix uh, whilst you're doing uh, wireless-based navigation. Equally, the apps that you use for wireless-based navigation can utilize the internet connection to overlay weather data and so on. So the hub product is a simple solution, one wireless network on board carrying both navigation and internet data. To complement all these wireless products, we have our own app. It's called Navlink. It's available in two variants, uh, Navlink UK and Navlink US. The US app comes complete with NOAA charting, so you've got charts of the whole of the US included with the $20 app, and it will support the wireless feed of position, tracks, waypoints, routes, and an, even an AIS overlay. It's a great product, definitely worth a download, and just to give you a quick run through the features, uh, you can see we've built a route here on the screen. The active waypoint is shown with a, a, a star, and you can see uh, the active waypoint bearing and distance uh, to that point. It will also give you speed over ground and VMG and ETA if we were moving towards that point. It's a nice touch screen type interface, so all the controls are built in on the screen. Uh, if you tap on a mark, it comes up with the information about that particular mark. Uh, and so on. So very nice, easy to use and a great starter app. It's worth also looking at other apps that are available because that's one of the beauties of iPad based navigation. There's a stack of different apps that are available. One of my favorites is iNavX which is a great uh, charting app utilizing Navionics based charting. NMEA Remote is another great product which basically just takes NMEA data and presents it in either digital or analog format with a variety of different colors. It's like having a fantastic multifunction repeater on your iPad. And another of my favorites is iRegatta which again takes the NMEA data from any of our wireless products and creates polars, it supports an AIS target list uh, and it's great for racing based uh, sales, uh, sa sa sailors and so on. So there are a mass of different apps there. 
lots of information to, to look at. Um, and I'd encourage you to look at digitalyachtamerica.com or give us a call on 978-277-1234 if you'd like to learn more. Thanks very much for listening.